Center Things mission is to make machine learning radically accessible. And the platform is built so that everybody from hobbyists to budding university students to corporate data scientists can get on and do their best work as quickly as possible and be in an environment where they don't have to leave, they don't have to download anything to their computer. With VMware, we've been able to automate and virtualize the process and stand that up in an amazingly quick amount of time. We solve the complexity around the availability of GPUs and availability of the infrastructure to the data scientists. This wasn't a possibility at least about, uh, until about two years ago. We made all the GPUs and the compute resources that an end user, a data scientist, is looking for and providing them a platform where they can just log into the portal and get the models running. I could be working in a development environment with unlimited time and just a little fr fraction of a GPU and then I can click a button and all of a sudden I can go into training by the minute with very expensive enterprise grade GPUs. Those are things that we wanted to do, we didn't know we could do. Only 15% of GPUs ever get used. That means 85% go unused. The most expensive compute power that you can get because they're not online and connected. This is what happened with the CPU revolution 10 or 15 years ago. We wanted something on-prem where we could virtualize our Kubernetes servers. With the new technologies on the VCF with Tanzu, we were able to chime on each one of them and get all the fruits out of it. Initially, when I was hired, I was hired as a VRA VRA consultant. Then, as soon as I figured the vision, my eyes popped up because AI ML is the way and that's going to be the future. Even though I did not have the expertise on the VCF and the Tanzu, that wasn't bothering me much because the zeal to learn was pretty good. And the tools we have been using for a while, the Tanzu Observability, the Bitfusion, the Carbon Black, all these are the future. We knew we wanted something like Kubernetes and containers, being able to use resource and give somebody a piece of something. We also knew we needed to break up the GPUs so that people could use them. One thing we found very early on with VMware's solution is we could go from the tiniest fraction of a GPU all the way up to half a petabyte, which is a ridiculous number. Or I could just squeeze it down to a little bit that I don't even have to meter it. Someone can just stay in their development my environment forever. The ability for us to do that and do that dynamically just made a ton of sense. Another technical advantage would be we're quite agnostic to the compute power that we're using. We can handle new GPU compute that comes in the future, and maybe there's even some other types of technologies like photon-based laser technology for inference that we can attach. We feel like we have the full support of VMware to be able to move in that direction. Not all of the solutions we looked at could support that. The reality is you have to put it to practice. And most things are global nowadays, which means you have to orchestrate putting it to practice around the world. We see it offering our partners and future clients a much easier solution to work with. And when you make the barrier for a decision easy, it lets you focus on the technology and not focus on all of the non-value added pieces.